Hi everyone! Statistics show online users abandon cards that contain, in total, about $4 trillion worth of products. And over 60% of those abandoned cards can be recovered and turned into sales. You can do this with our plugin, Yet WooCommerce Recover Abandoned Card. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure the plugin and how to email users that have abandoned their cards to recover the sales. Before we get into it, let me remind you that we list the links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And now, let's get to it. It's usual to have lots of users add products to the cart and then never go through with the order. With Yeet WooCommerce Recover Abandoned Cart, you can email users that have abandoned their cards to try and make the sale. Let's see this plugin settings. Let's go to Yid, Abandoned Cart. First, we'll see these six tabs. Dashboard, Settings, Abandoned Cards, Email Templates, Recovered Cards, and Email Logs. In this first tab, Dashboard, we're going to find an overview of the abandoned cards and pending orders, the rate conversion, the total amount recovered, the abandoned card and pending orders, and the email sent. If needed, we can reset all this to zero by just clicking here on this reset button. Now let's move on to the second tab, settings. To start using the plugin, you have to enable this enable card recovery option. Then we'll find an option to allow shop managers to manage plugin settings as well. Now, what can be considered an abandoned card? In this third option, we can set how much time has to go by to consider a card abandoned. You can set this in minutes, hours, or days. For example, let's say that cards can be identified as abandoned cards after two hours. And then you can set how much time has to go by to delete each abandoned card. You can also set this in minutes, hours, or days and it is set to 160 hours. You can also just leave zero here in case you never want to delete abandoned cards. Then we'll find an option here to enable pending order recovery. This also allows you to send email reminders to users that have pending orders to try and complete those sales as well. Then you can also decide when to delete pending orders. Again, it's the same as this option. You have minutes, hours, or days, and you can set zero here to never delete a pending order. Then we have options to recover pending orders and abandoned cards of all users that is registered users or only users of specific roles. If I click here, I can choose the user role here. And then in the recover cards of guest users option, you have the option to never recover cards of guest users, to always recover cards of guest users, or to only recover if the terms and conditions are checked. The recover abandoned cards terms and conditions text is right here. And of course, you can edit it. This is going to be shown to guest users. If I scroll down, we're going to find the user email settings section. These are the settings for the emails that are sent to users to try and recover abandoned cards and pending orders. You can set the sender's name, the sender email address, and you can enter an email address here so users can reply to the email reminders. And below, we're going to find the admin email settings. If you check this option, notify admin when a card is recovered, you as an admin are going to get an email when a card is recovered. And you have the email heading for that email, the recipient, and the email subject. Then we have the coupon settings, because we can create the email templates with coupons and we can enter the coupon prefix so you can identify all coupons used to recover a card. You can enable the option to delete used coupons and also enable the option to delete expired coupons. And last, we have the cron settings. This is the time interval configuration to send the emails to users. My configuration right now is one minute. You can set this in minutes, hours, or days. I'm going to save options and now we're going to move on to the Abandoned Cards tab. 
Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time you have a new video for you. Now, let's continue with the video. In this section, you're going to find all of the abandoned cards based on the previous configuration we went over. I have an abandoned card here. You're going to see the username, the email, the phone number, the abandoned card subtotal, the status, which you can see right here, abandoned, the last email sent, no emails have been sent yet because it's a new abandoned card, and the last update. And if you don't want to wait for the email to be sent automatically, you can send it right here. For example, we can choose out of the templates I have created, first email, send email, and then here is the email information. So every time an email is sent for each abandoned card, you're going to see an update here. And if we click on view, we can see more information about this card. We can see the status, the update, the username used for billing, the user email, the phone number, language, currency, and the history. Here we're going to see every email that was sent to this user for this abandoned card. We have the sending date, the email template that was sent, and whether the link was clicked or not. And of course, here you can find the card content. Now let's go back. Now we have another tab here, which is the pending orders tab. This tab is added once you enable the option to also recover pending orders. So now we have seven tabs here and not just six. Here we're going to find the list of all the orders that are pending. Right now there are no pending orders and we would also be able to see the details of those orders, just like we did for the abandoned cards. And now let's move on to the email templates tab. So here are the templates that are sent to users that have either abandoned cards or pending orders. You can see the name of the emails here. For example, this first email is the one we just sent for the abandoned card. We have the type. We have three for abandoned cards and one for pending order. We have when they have to be sent, the subject, the conversion rate so far, and the status. So only the first two are enabled. Now we're going to click here to add a new template. You can add a title to the email template so you can identify it. You have email settings here to activate the email, whether it's an abandoned card email or a pending order email. The email subject. You can schedule the automatic delivery. You can set the delivery in minutes, hours, or days. For example, this one has one day set. If this was an abandoned card email, then one day after the card was abandoned, the email would be automatically sent. Same goes for pending orders. If this was an email for pending orders, the email would be sent one day after the order was placed and no payment was received. Then we have the coupon section to add coupons to this email. The coupons would be created in the marketing coupon section. You can set the coupon value here when it expires. And you can also send a test email to verify the email right after saving it. And of course, you have an email report here to know how many emails were sent, how many clicks you got out of this email, how many cards were recovered with it, and the total conversion rate. Now, here you can add the content of the email. You can add anything here, for example, hello. And you can use this option here to insert any of this information so that each user gets a personalized email. For example, you have the user first name, last name, full name, the email, the card content, the card link, the recover button, the unsubscribe link, and the coupon. So if I use user first name and the email is sent to Jane, she's going to get an email saying, hello, Jane. And you can then publish the email so you can add it to the email templates list we saw before. Now let's go back. Then we have the recover cards tab. We don't have any recover cards yet, but here you're going to see all of the cards that were recovered. A card is considered recovered when the user clicks on the link of the email that was sent by the plugin. That email redirects the user to the card page to complete the order. So after that, an abandoned card will be removed from the abandoned cards tab and the new order will be added to this Recover Cards tab. And in the last tab, Email Logs, we'll find 
all the emails generated by the plugin once it has been activated. We have the email address that it was sent to, which template was sent, we have first email and email with coupon, the abandoned cart ID, and the date when it was sent. And of course, if you need to, you have all actions here to delete these logs, or you can search email addresses here. And that's it. If you want to contact users that have abandoned their carts or have pending orders to recover them and make those sales, this is the plugin for you. Okay, so that's how the plugin works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.